If you mention the cat, he will come. And here he is. Go softly, come softly, so the cat does not gore you. You have honored your word. But he flies dead, and all who hear of it, hear of me. I regret we could not save Beshi. He was a brave man. Already they tell his story throughout Baghdad. He will free more by his death than he did in life. Freedom has a price. The only question is whether we will pay it. Beshi was proud to. I have much to do. I would wish peace upon you both, but we know that is not in your future. Nor mine. I fear Ali is right. Nothing will stop his rebellion now. Maybe nothing should. The things he says. At the garrison, we saw Wasif arguing with Governor Muhammad ibn Tahir. Muhammad? That is odd. I will keep eyes on him. I wanted to read the Hayat al Hakim, the goal of the wise, but it was destroyed in the fire. Who burned all these rare and controversial books? Surely not the Khalifa. How would I know? The Khalifa is supposed to protect us. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? Torch. Dangerous leaving that lying around. The library is guarded. Something must have happened. Huh. What's this then? What? Caretaker of books. He's dead. But he wrote Mansach in his own blood. I wonder. Something in his hand. Fabric. Torn from a woman's gown. But whose? Strange fires and a dead caretaker. 
Horrifying. I should hurry. Here for Better you. keep my eyes open. A prisoner? Here? That guard might have the key. Hold on.
Don't kill me! Please! Give me more time! I... I almost cracked it! Don't worry. I'm not here to kill you. What are you trying to crack? The book? I said I couldn't. This is not a language I know, but she gave me no choice. Who? A woman named Zahra. One of the scholars here. What is this book? What is it called? The only thing I know is that it is written in a script unlike any other. And I have seen hundreds. The way Zara talks, it's more of an artifact or relic than a book. I uh, lied about my progress so they wouldn't kill me. I can't read a single word. I don't even know if it's a language. Where can I find Zahra? I don't know. She could be anywhere in the city. I... I just want to go home. All right, get to safety before the guards return. There must be something here to help me. This order letter mentions Arib. An innocent reference, or something more sinister. This book makes me uncomfortable. I will leave it here. This letter gives the location of the scholar Zara's estate. Time to visit Zahra's estate and see if she is involved with the Order. This peculiar machine. I saw something like it in Ahmad's workshop. <laughs> Zahra's estate. But nobody's home. Now is my chance to search her place. Wooden weapons and training dummies. Looks like our scholar wields both pen and sword.
Another book of poetry by Arib. She definitely is popular in certain circles. Zahra is definitely tied to the Order, along with somebody named El Rabisu. I've learned all I can. Better get to high ground and get ready. Zahra might return any minute. Servants, prepare a glass of dead juice on ice and serve it with a plate of honeyed bread and pomegranates. Then prepare the bath salts. I am utterly beat. Hmm. Paradise is where you find it. That old fool tinkering with his worthless ancient disc and helpless patience. Bah! Of course, say that. The real answers are in books. They are always <clears throat> in books. Am I not right? Always say that. When I get that book translated, then we'll see who is the real head of the order. As you wish, say that. thought that strange book would get their great work functioning. Good thing Hunain could not translate a single oh. word.
I should look for other leads in Abathia. Basim, over here. You seem shorter than I remembered, Basim. Hmm. And you still have not grown a single digit, Rebecca. No, we're not here as enemies. No, but we never held back on the training ground. Roshan tells me you are local here. In a manner of speaking, I lived here a time before I left for Anbar. Hmm. This place is no different from the places I'm used to. The rich wipe their shit with the clothes of the poor. That is the car I remember. It is your car no longer. Rebecca has uncovered a district tainted by corruption. Stronger than usual. Rumors of harassment from officials, and goods being controlled and seized. We think someone here has a hold over the district. Let me guess. The Order. A grand auction is happening. The Dairat Al-Mal. An annual show of silk robes comparing their golden spoons. No surprise, but this event is invite only. There is a high chance one of our targets will attend. So, gain entry into the auction and find the one behind this. Mumtaz, you catch on quick. Finding it hard to keep up? There might be clues if we trace trouble to the root. I can show you where they are brewing. Join me outside when you're ready. Master. Are you ready, Basim? Kar awaits. Ready. Let us move. Follow me. Ever thought you would return here? To Kar? No. Much of my childhood was spent along these streets. Finding friendship with rats and roaches. Some memories are good. Most are bitter. Memories only serve to distract us. The Order has spread their influence into every crack in the city, turning Baghdad into their farm. That will change. Responsibility lies heavy on our shoulders. The Order's blight falls over Karh, and we are the only ones who can cure it. How has Rebecca been adjusting to Karh? She does not like the politics, but she has to fulfill her duty. Karh is an acquired taste. Businesses at each other's throats. The obsession over money. Huh. Perfume. People here are happy to be lost in their own paradise. A paradise that can only be afforded by the wealthy. And often corrupted. Yeah. 
Come, we're nearly there. Welcome back to Kar. Spice still clings to the air. What was it like the first time you took a life? I barely recall. It was a man I used to know well. Before all of this. Before the Hidden Ones. You do not remember? My memories are buried next to him. I refuse to let his death hunt me. The way his breath hunted me when he was alive. I won't let the past define me. This is why I now consider myself the daughter of no one. If we do not quell the storm within us while awake, it takes us in our dreams. Like with you and your Jinni. Now, the souk, like Rebecca said, some guards came through recently, oh. breaking bottles, smashing crates. What caused this aggression? Let's find out. I've also heard they're seizing foreign goods, mostly from the East Road. The East Road? I believe I know someone who can help. It has been an age. Hopefully he is still around. I would be happy to see him again. Do not let nostalgia cloud reality, Basim. I will not. I know nothing stays the same. It has been some time. I wonder what has changed around here. Maybe I could first pay an old friend a visit. <laughs> nice! You will put... What fresh brew do you have for me today, Kong? No brew until Luca returns my crate. But if you have come to buy tea, I have many recommendations. <laughs> Kong, it is me, Basim. Huh? Nisa Seya? Who? Basim. I am not an idiot. Everyone claims to be someone I know. Answer me this. What tea did my Basim like? Ginger with some turmeric. Wrong! Basim does not like tea. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Basim! Little Finch, look at you all dressed up. Come, come, follow me to my stall. Away from this terrible man. Oh. So, little Finch, what have you been up to, huh? So many years. Just here and there. I had to leave Baghdad for a while. Ah, youth. What about yourself, Kong? What have you been doing these years? <laughs> doing what I do best, making coin. Although with some difficulty of late. The guards are on high alert. And that Peak Merchant has taken it in his stride to report me at every chance. I know it in my ripe old bones that he waits for me to die of starvation. Or worse, go out of business. Ah, but here you are, little Finch. Remember the dazzling door we used to be? How about helping a friend out for old times? Ah, just like old times. But I need to speak with you after this. There is something I need as well. Of course! After you fetch my confiscated crate of beautiful leaves. It must be over there, where the guards are. Go forth! Fine. But I have something to ask of you after this. Yes, yes, of course. 
This must be Kong's crate of tea leaves. Looks like this crate is still intact. Kong will be pleased. My leaves! Praise be to you, little finch. Where shall I put it? Come, come, put it here. Basim delivers once again. Many thanks, little finch. Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China. Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves. I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kah first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Da'irat al-Mal. Yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, little Finch? Why not share it with me? We work so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my Basim. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Kah is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense, I do not know. But they spoil my business, that I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse, somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. Hey, you! Kong's friend! I may have something you would be interested in. Come closer. What can I do for you? Hmm. This is about what I can do for you. Did Kong ask you to enter a warehouse? Just say what you have to say. <laughs> that Kong is always trying his luck. Well, it's his lucky day because I happen to know where it is. Oh, 
All I need is something in return. Tell me what you know. Follow the road, cross the bridge on the right, you'll see the warehouse on your left, past the river. That narrows it down. Thank you. Fighting with the Amir of Barda back in 38. Got Sword a spear for in the back. Lucky I'm alive. Warehouse Kong mentioned. I need to find out more about this harbor master. Greece, India, anything out of Baghdad. If I want to keep my head, I better be sure to check them all. Instructions to search any and all foreign goods for an artifact. An ancient Chinese hairpin, specifically. This all starts at the harbor. Lose you next time. We'll be ready. Hey, what was that? Hey, come out, coward. Not done with you. Wait, just a. <laughs> Mal. Ceramics, exotic wares, and rare goods. All on display. Ugh! <laughs> 
A strongly worded letter to the harbor master. He let a hairpin slip through their fingers, and someone is not happy. There is a scent on this letter, and a familiar symbol. El Kululu. Looks like the harbor master is part of the order. A list of exotic foreign goods seized, most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things. Vases and some expensive tea leaves. This should be what Kong needs. The harbor master has set up this blockade for foreign wares, especially for ancient artifacts from the east. There is nothing more here. The harbor master is waiting. Another wall between the people and power at play. I hope the harbor master is not expecting me. Nothing here for you. Javid is mad. We let the artifact slip through. He is not happy. But... Fate calls. lost the artifact, they have to bid for it at the auction.
Kong, I have good... Kong. Seiya? Who goes there? I have a weapon. Just me. Ah, the little finch returns to the nest. Empty-handed? <laughs> it is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Ha! Huh. I never doubted you for a second. Come, let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch? When we last met, you were a street thief. Now, I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in, lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Someone influential is looking for the hairpin, but let it slip. Now the only chance they have is at the Grand Auction. Hmm. Now to look into the other lead. You have wasted enough of hours. Now stop begging. How about we take a walk instead? So this is taking too long. I have somewhere to be. And this is hardly worth the coin they pay me. Cut off a finger. Maybe that will loosen her coin purse. Concern you. Oh. Away. Oh, thank the deities. And thank you. Thank you, Saeed. What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short of coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin requested. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here, or not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. I have a shipment that's late. I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the direct Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. I should see if I can find those stranded merchants. Ha! 
out. Who goes? Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do not know what to make of this. Let me help. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit must have left a clue. Woodprints. And a blood trail. The horse's head was carried to the center of the camp. My horse, my sweet legume. The head is Malaka. clean. Who would do such a terrible deed? Must have been a do not cast blade. your eyes on me. I did no such evil. Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock! Malaka. <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well, but... I saw someone, I think. I cannot be sure. I think I know what happened. This is a work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La, uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Shukran! God bless you! Quickly! Get us away from here! Let us move. The city is not too far. Come! We should leave this place. Quickly! We should have stayed home. <clears throat> Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here, across the water. With my horse Legum, we carried goods to and from Baghdad. All the cities we visited. Our goods, Basra. And even Samara. Where are you going? Your merchant friend tells me that these goods are bound for the Da'irat al-Mal. Nay, the great auction is a big event. And that meant bigger demands. So you are attending then? Attending? <laughs> I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations. report to someone called al Hanka. This confirms my suspicions. Good. 
Good heavens! Could they have been sent to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. We've been vocal against the Khilafa and unfair taxes. It can cost us our heads. But the Silent Sheep is an ally to corruption. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. Baghdad, you are safer now. You are oh, wonderful. Thank you. Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sayyidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called al Ankab. This person is the one behind the attack. Hmm. I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as Al-Anqa, which was odd. Because is the Anqa not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. Suhail lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. Wafaqaqallah. <laughs>